वेलकम टू नमीबिया Just nu så befinner jag mig i ett helt fantastiskt landskap. Det känns som man står i ett vikort. Och så har det känts hela veckan. Vi är i Namibia och vi är här och jagar. Vi jagar arter som det finns väldigt mycket av, som lever helt fritt här. Och vi har jagat tillsammans med otroligt kunniga guider. Vi har lärt oss jättemycket. Vi har varit med om helt fantastiska upplevelser. Och jag tänkte att ni skulle få ta del av det. Så jag har filmat så gott det går när man filmar och jagar samtidigt. Vi jagar som sagt inga arter som är hotade på något sätt. Och vi jagar bara äldre hanjur. De som har gjort sitt. Precis så som vi jagar hemma. När man är duktig på rådjursförvaltning eller liknande. De är otroligt duktiga på det här. Så vi har lärt oss jättemycket. Vi har smygit, vi har klättrat i berg. Vi har varit uppe på 1800 meters höjd. Det har varit helt otroligt. Men nu ska jag sluta snacka och så spolar vi tillbaka den här veckan och så får ni hänga med från början istället. Väskor och mitt bagage och nu så ska jag leta upp juckan som sitter här någonstans. Och då sitter jag och väntar vid tullen eh, som det har lämnat in lite papper och de ska kontrollera allting och stämpla på. Hej! Helt en borste som man kan filma med. Det är ju magiskt. <laughs> Etiopien, eh, Addis Ababa eh, och eh, nu ska vi på en extra vapencheck här så vi för att han inte riktigt vad som hände. Ja, men jag vet inte, jag satt och drack en kaffe och njöt av livet och nu sitter vi på en buss på andra delen av flygplatsen. Ja. Alltså som kaos där inne. Vi fick bara sitta på huk på golvet, på cementgolvet och packa upp alla vapen. De bara skrek efter licensnummer. Vi har ju alla papper i ordning men de bara ryckte och grejer och till slut så... Ja men vi fick inte ens visa väskorna och ammunition. Alltså bara fullkomlig kaos. Inne i bagagehanteringshallen <laughs> med alla band och allt. Kaos i Addis. Vapen. Och nu åker vi den här svinkola landcruisen till vårt camp som är fyra timmar, ungefär fem timmar från flygplatsen. dags att äntligen gå ut i denna fantastiska natur. Och jag har ju fan inte ens sett campet när det har varit ljust ute. Men så här ser det ut här ute i alla fall. Och alltså jag orkar inte. Ni får uppleva detta samtidigt som jag här nu. Här är våra goda bilar. Här står en sebra liksom. Ah. Kan fan locka på zebra. Ah. Ah. 
Oh, oh. How you doing? How you doing? Nu ska vi skjuta in bussarna och sen efter det så ska vi be oss iväg och jaga. Yes, okej. Okay. Kör vi! väg ut mot eh, mot marken där vi ska jaga och vi parkerar bilen och sen så ska vi ut och smyga i det här fantastiska landskapet. Check this is the giraffe. Look, this is a female. It's not a big bull. So yeah, a giraffe actually the most dangerous part of a giraffe is when you're in front of it. They kick forward yeah, okay. and they can kick back. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> so how far is it? So it's right, I would say, so 280, somewhere in that area. We have gone yeah. really yeah. far. Oh is no, it? this is actually... Um, 
What is that? It's the that yeah. This is actually a normal day. Yeah, this is amazing. <laughs> I might give you another hug. <laughs> no pieces, ne? No, 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 okay. <laughs> that, that is for the cooter. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff, man. Congratulations you so on your first, ne? Super, man. Good. Yes. <laughs> but we are in very old country, ne? Yeah. I don't know if you get that sense. Yeah, um, but, it, it um, feels like it has been like this uh, forever. Yeah. In the beginning of the season, one of our PHS, Piedri, he um, went right on top of that hill. Ne? Yeah. So while sitting there and getting their breath back, he saw right next to him in the rocks a footprint yeah. of a leopard uh -huh. inside the rock. And that's now on top of that hill. So how many years ago was that mud up there? Okay. So all of this has been eroded yeah. away. And I mean, this doesn't just take one or two days. Ne? So the leopards were here before us. Exactly. Oh. Yeah. And what about the, the oryx, for example? So the oryx is, is the only animal that can survive in a, in a desert. Ne? Yeah. Actually a springbok also. Yeah. But what's very interesting of the oryx is that um, they can control their body temperature or their blood temperature. Mm -hmm. So they have like a radiator system in their noses. Okay. And as soon as when, the, when they're in the desert or even here when it gets really hot, 47 degrees or 50 upwards, yeah. They um, take all the blood before it goes to the brain, yeah. goes through the radiator, they punt, <laughs> yeah. you know, like that, yeah. and it cools cool. the blood down, it like goes to the brain, condition. exactly, goes to the brain, and then from there it goes to the rest of the body. Amazing. It's So the spring yeah. box can also do it, but they're not as specialized in it. I feel like I would need that system right now, <laughs> <laughs> quite hot. Yeah, so, okay, okay. let's go and have a look. Thank yes. you. Ja, nu är vi på väg fram till en Oryx 20 som jag har fällt. En otroligt spännande ansmygning. Och de här djuren, det här är ju ett av de häftigaste och vackraste djuren som, som finns liksom. Men det är en äldre tjur och det var det som var viktigt för mig att det skulle vara. Eh, och det var viktigt för guiden också. Beautiful old bull. It's an old bull. So, yes. So come have a look here in front. So what we look for is this width of the head here in front. Yeah. And you see how close the rings are to, to one another here? Yeah. That is, you could not have gotten a, a nicer bull. This guy was longer. Yeah. And as you can see here, that it has worked itself off. But yeah. what the bulls do is they sharpen it in the rocks and in the sand. Yeah. And this is of but course their like, weapons. So it's like... Um, like Robux, for example, yes. they, they go down after yeah. a bit when they peak. Sorry. So yeah, ne, congratulations. Ne? This is a, is a very good bull. And like we said from the beginning, this is your first shot. Yeah. That's right on the money. Oh, <laughs> it feels so good. <laughs> I want to hug you again. <laughs> this is a dream come true. And the, yeah. the, the experience of uh, walking around in this yeah. fantastic environment we, and Super. with you who knows yeah. so much. And Thank you very much, it's an honor. And yeah. it's an old bull, yes. and that was what yeah. I wanted. And that is also what we want. So this is the perfect one to take out. You feel that thing there? Yeah. So that is a fat land. Uh -huh. And now when it, when it is really, really dry, yeah. then they use that as moisture. Yeah. And so they don't have to drink so much water. Okay. And then you will also see a lot of scratches. Whereas after they mark their area, there's a gland here yeah. that they scratch the area and that puts out more scent also. Amazing. Yeah, unreal animal. Most iconic animals of Africa. Yeah. The mask. Mask of Africa. Hello. And you can take your head off totally. Yeah. So this is now just for a little bit of a welcoming as a hunter. Bravo. <laughs> Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Yeah. So what's uh, what's the plan now? We go hunting. Oh, 
ideal distance, you know, but... Vi var inne på 200 meter ungefär på Oryxan, men guiden, han kunde se så var det tre stycken honjur. Thanks for sticking to it, eh? Yeah, beautiful, beautiful oryx. Okay. Oi, 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 oi. Thank you. So, yeah, I'm like Hiltas. It's good? Perfect shot. You remember it was quartering two us a little yeah, bit? Yeah, yeah. So the bullet went in the front shoulder. Hard. It's an amazing animal. Totally true. Totally true. Beautiful one. <laughs> it is. Thank yeah. you. Thank you so, again. So, yeah, like I said, Ned, this one is probably a week or so younger than yours. So if you see the, this one, the, the head is already broadened, but the rings are not so tight yet. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but still a beautiful boy. 
this although this one is also worn down as you can see you know it has sharpened this side already yeah, yeah congratulations you. on your thank orange you. thank you som ni kanske märkte så var vi ute eh, efter Oryx eh, och såg tre stycken som visade sig vara fyra. Och först trodde vi bara att det var eh, honjur. Och sen till slut så såg jag att det fanns en fjärde med som var en, en tjur. Um, so what we, from what we saw in the binoculars is both the, the females had very long horns. But their tails were still long and this means that they are you know, still young. They still have a breeding period of let's say five years or you know, depending on the rain, sometimes even more. So if we were to go for that, yeah, both of them we could have shot eh? because of the length. But we would have, how can I say, shot ourselves in the foot for tomorrow because that is our breeding stock. And so we went for the bull because he is now already worn down and this is a um, thumb suck. A seven to twelve year old bull. He's not as old as the one like we shot this morning, but already, if you look here at the horn, this is already worn down or was broken and then sharpened again. So this is now one that is ideal, you know, to to harvest. And so that the new bull with um, newer genes can can do the blood spread. So yeah, that is the reason. I mean this is uh, the way we hunt in Sweden as well. Yeah. Of course. Very ethical, very yeah. important. Yeah. And what so, was that now? Three hours or yeah. maybe and even a little zebras, bit longer. All the spring bucks. <laughs> and the bloody even zebras. The giraffes we have in. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Magnus, tell me. Uh, berätta, hur, hur känns det nu? Yeah. It's almost uh, unreal. Thank you. Thank you. into the big one. Okay. I think that between this and that yes. where that mouth melts. I think that's where I saw it the last time. Okay, let's quickly go there. Okay, come on. 
name. So because of the spine, why we had to run, is I want you to see how that prong comes up. <clears throat> Man, beautiful springbok. So this is what we look for. You see these arcs? So only when it is an old one do they arc like this, ne? Yes. So it's maybe beautiful. turn it like so. So beautiful. But you can see that dips also. So, so this is the one that we saw, you know, first yeah. this morning. Yeah. So how old do you think he is? I would say anywhere, and this is of course a thumb suck again, anywhere from six years to let's say a lot ten years. Okay. And how because of there being a lot of predators and stuff yeah. like that too. How old do they get? Um, depending on rainfall and food, but 10 years, maybe 12. The giraffe is now on 400 meters yeah. and he's still <laughs> over there. And I was filming the giraffe. Yeah, I saw. And you were like, <laughs> now he's out. <laughs> gun, gun, I, gun, 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 gun. <laughs> felt really dumb being out filming animals. But for us, this is so amazing to yeah. be within like 150 meters from a giraffe. Yeah. And then it went really quick because yeah. he came out from a small bush, yeah. uh, and I had broadside, and it yeah, was. But he turned a little quartering to you. Yeah, so I, I wanted to have the shot a little bit uh, in front. Yes. So I, yeah. and, and it's perfect because it went exactly. through everything. Exactly. Yeah. Um, a little bit high, but I thought it was 200, and, and little, it was yeah. less. It was a little bit less. Yeah. Yeah. We have one way to get in into that deep valley, but all of that that is you know, free and open. The only way to get in there, with your feet. <laughs> and here we're now probably so 1006, 1007. And right on top, I would say so 1800 and something. But you take a couple of breaths getting here. Also, it's not a leak, that we stood... Just slowly move a bit forward. Yeah. Now we stood 10 minutes and we found another Ja, jag har hämtat att de andra är fan fitt alltså. Men vi är på, vad sa han, 16-1700 meters höjd. Och det känns, man får liksom ingen luft. Fan, jag skulle träna tränat. Nästa, nästa gång, nästa gång. Ja, 
har satt upp för berget vi är på 1800 meter. Nu är det klart att ni är 100. Man vill inte ramla kan jag säga. Sen har vi sett väldigt mycket spår. Bland annat leopardspår. Och jag är inte helt, helt tuff av mig. Jag tycker sånt där är superläskigt. Men guiden säger att det är lugnt. Fan, det är ju leopard. Jag vet inte vad det är. Han gillar leopard. Han säger att de håller ordning på, på stammarna för de tar bort de sjuka djuren. Den här dagen har varit helt fantastisk. Att vi inte fäller på någonting nu, det gör precis noll. Och alla som jagar vet vad jag menar. En sån här upplevelse får man inte många gånger i livet. Då är det liksom skitsamma om man skjuter något eller inte. Så. Så jävla coolt. Herregud. Kolla. Chasing the young ones to the right, you see them? Bah!
shot. Just wait, these gonna go down. Feel, uh, feels good. Just shot a very nice spring buck. So the prunk is standing right up there. Impressive that you yeah. know the English word. Yeah. <laughs> what was it, prunk? I have learned a lot of English words lately. <laughs> what happened to that prunk? Prunk. We saw it and I go up my spring bucks. På väg in i den här en jätte jättestor slett här när jag var Och där hittar vi ju en, en fin back här som vi börjar smyga på. Håll på en stund när en åfåra som vi har följt. Till slut så, det var jättemånga så de sprang ju runt omkring varandra. Till slut så fick vi ju det ett litet läge på den här. Som jag lyckades fälla. En väldigt, väldigt fin springback. Någon känsla. Jag märker att allting är större på björnen här nära. Alltså allting som kan rädda dem. Ögon, öron. Uh, so first of all we need to see of the age. You know that it is an old one. And now in this specific group they were probably so, what would you say, so 40, 30, somewhere there. And then way in front, the group that was quite far, I saw a real big one. But his tips were not totally around yet, he's still growing. So that one we left. And this one had the nice arcs, if you can see that on the head. So we're looking for the arcs and that the tips are in and that these tips are worn down already, you know. That this means that they have, they're in their prime, but have come down already. So genetic wise, this is the pre perfect one, you know, to, to take out because of their being younger males. And the ones that were so very close to us, there's also two young bucks that were, you know, challenging one another, testing their own own strengths. So uh, yeah, this was the perfect one to take out out of that scenario. And this ensures genetic spread. You know that some other other males come in now and then have some new bloodlines. So ethical super. Made a perfect shot. <laughs> Jag har precis fällt en Blue Wild Beast och eh, även kallad då Poor Man's Buffer. Eh, och det var en ensam, riktigt gammal, stor herre som vi såg på inte, 500 meter kanske. Eh, och sen så eh, snög vi på den helt enkelt. Vi har gjort en, en två, 
en och en halv kilometers ståk genom spindeltäta buskar och eh, vi kom till Kullens krans och jag är lite orolig och då har han gjort en lov till vänster så jag såg att han stod och bort över ett träd och försökte få deras uppmärksamhet det tog en liten stund Flo made it perfect shot Thank you, yeah it felt really good and it was uh, around 200 meters yeah. so it was Exakt really... 211 211. <laughs> really nice shot. That one centimeter makes a difference, ne? <laughs> yeah, no, but it felt really good. But we'll see. some vultures already, ne? These are the, the leopard-faced vultures. It's a puppy you don't know. What is name yet? Come have a look. That is an old boy. You see those hard bosses right there? Yeah. That is exactly what you want. Those steps, they're groomed off. He's totally black in front of his head. You just shot a real old blue wallaby bull. So in the buffalo sense, this would have been a dagger boy already. But, and this one walked alone? He was kicked out. Yeah. So this is the perfect exactly. blue to take. Exactly. You just call them blue, don't you? Yes, blue wallabies. Oh, Huge. <laughs> he has actually lost some of his body condition already of being, you know, thrown out. It's amazing. And I think it, it's so cool because they are so powerful yes. in the body. And just before you shot, when we called him, when he turned, you could basically see that bulk yeah. from the brisket up to the to the back. The bullet didn't go through. And um, this is I think three, 300 wind mag. So you see that? Yeah. That is the baseline. Yeah, so okay. Meaning, if the teeth go the same as that, yeah. then he's going downhill. Okay. How, how old do you think it is? Um, so I would say anywhere from 15 years older. And how old do they get? It depends. But some suck, you know, I would say probably also this 18 to 20. Okay, so this Depending is... on competition and all this. So this is, uh, as you said, he was bumped out, yes. out of the yeah. herd. Uh, yeah. He's really old. Yeah, look at and this also. So if you look at these, here are these bosses. See how weakened these are? Yeah. That's all worked off, both okay. of them. Are they dropping them uh, finally? Or? Yeah, if he goes into a fight with another one, he will break it off and then then he has a problem. Okay. Then he cannot fend for himself so much. But okay. Just look at all these scars here. Beautiful. But just so you know, this is Aaron's and he's not just a good <laughs> guide. He, I, mean, I mean, you're fixing everything and you're, you're such a sport. And it's impressive to see how you work uh, on your uh, grounds with the animals and what you want us to shoot and what you absolutely don't want us to shoot yeah. uh, to make the, the, the wildlife even greater. Uh, it's Thank so you very clear. much. Yeah. I appreciate it. So it's, uh, yeah. I feel very humble. Thank you so much. So am I, very humble. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you very thank much.
Ben skakar det. Ja, det är ovanligt. Men det ligger där. Två skott. Fint. Ja. Grattis. Tack, tack. Jag kan nå det. Steep and... Yeah, but I don't know if you went up this road. Yeah, I have. I've been walking this road. Close. Yeah. Alright, let's quickly go down. Hur känns det nu, Kristoffer? Jo, men det var nej, jätteskönt och det är skönt att eh, Kvidmåren levererar eh, på sådana här vilt som är hårdskjutna. Eh, bra effekt. Men eh, det var jättelänge sedan jag kände som en puls, sådär. Riktig rejäl puls. Den här var ju så att benet skakade. Det, <laughs> ja, det var länge sedan, det var häftigt. Jag har en oryx sedan tidigare, en äldre herre, 14 år, kortare hon, alltid faktiskt drömt om att ha de här långa. Det här var fantastiskt, otroligt. Där uppifrån sköt vi. så dök den upp redan på 120 meter så det ska ha tagit bra men 
Den tecknade till skott. Och sen så sprang den iväg. Så vi får verkligen hoppas att den ligger här. Det här är det värsta med jakt. Det är något exakt vet. Hur jag har gått för djuret. Vi kör till mäkning igen. Bravo, bravo. <laughs> well done, well done. Man, 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 man. You just shot a hell of a kudu. Congratulations. Thank you. This is uh, probably the... I feel a bit... Uh, Sorrow. Yeah. Oof. It's such a magnificent animal. Yes, that is totally true. Uh, for, for me, it's uh, very, very special. Det, det är svårt att förklara hur, hur det känns alltså. Jag vet när jag fällde en kron gjort så blev jag också helt så här tagen och så känner jag mig nu. Det här är en... Eh, det är så mycket jävla mixade känslor i kroppen alltså. För det här är ju det här är på riktigt det vackraste jag har sett. Och så har jag precis skjutit den. Det känns jättekonstigt. Samtidigt så är detta en jättegammal tjur. Eh, och det är precis det som de vill att vi, att vi letar efter. How, how old do you think it is? I would say 15 years, maybe even a little bit older. So what we look for yeah. is you see how thick the bases are yeah. and the coloration of it. So when they are young, this four or five fingers from here, yeah. if that is white or pinkish, then yeah. it is still young. Okay. And so we want this to be full yeah. and that the tips, you know, are quite in. And as you can see, these tips have been worn off yeah. quite a lot. Yeah. But to rub off, like we discussed on the springbok also, to rub off this hard yeah. um, a horn, you know, that, that doesn't Next take time. one day. In what kind of uh, environment does the kudu really feel comfortable? Um, so they are actually very, very, very good in adapting, yeah. meaning they can either be way out in the open, as you can see this is now short, short yeah. um, bush, and these are called gabas, gaba bushes. Um, it helps with their camouflage, but they can survive in the rocks. Yeah. They can be out in the open, like we saw the ones yesterday. Yeah, because we have seen kudus on totally different places. Yeah, yeah. And so they, they can, can be also anywhere. climb really high mountains. Yeah, and they can be right on top also. Yeah. Maybe just tilt his nose up a bit more and lift it up. That one can see, you know, the spread <coughs> of this thing. This is really, really a beautiful kudu. And the shot is... Right on the money. Perfect. It's perfect. That is perfect, yeah. yeah. But I and mean, you we shot had it really quick also. Yeah, but we had it on 120 meters, yeah. so then it should be there. Yeah. It's so strange because at home, I would not take almost any shot over 150. Yeah. You don't have to because it's in the terrain. Yeah. Yeah. We can stalk them and yeah. we can come close. Yeah. But out here, a lot of the shots are around 300. I it's so amazing to go hunting with you. Uh, thank you because very much. we learn so much uh, about stalking. Uh, yeah. Because stalking uh, and, and stalking here and stalking at home uh, is of course different animals. Totally true. But to pick pieces of people you, you, you meet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and here comes our support. <laughs> yes. Did you bring an aeroplane? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Have a look at this. Yeah. Mia. <laughs> there you go. You have this. Congratulations. Thank oh, you. thank you very much. Beautiful, man. Just look at this muscle here. Yeah. Thank you. Ooh, that's a massive neck. It's, it's, it's a beautiful kudu. Such a powerful one. It's so jävla tung.
Bara hämta eh, Då kanske många undrar vad man gör eh, när man fäller ett djur här i Afrika. Självklart så tar man hand om allting. Allt kött tas till svara. Eh, när vi är här så äter vi mycket utav vårt kött. Det här är då ett, eh, en bog på kodon. Eh, de är ganska stora djur. Ungefär 250 kilo kött och ben. Som nu ska ner för det här berget. 